Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I'm going to show you the 5 best ways to optimize your Windows 11 speed. I've actually noticed that you loved our video, the last one we made, where we installed RevOS and a Chris Titus tool and I thought like why not make another one. This is by the way my own phone so it's a different kind of quality. It's not an old P20 anymore from Huawei, but let's get started. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what the best way is to optimize your Windows 11 speed. So the first thing you can do is actually remove animations, which isn't to speed up your home computer, but it is to speed up the process of entering applications. So what we can do is go to the start icon and we can type for animations. After this, you will see animation effects. So let's open this and of course turn it off. I've already turned it off because it will make your computer a lot faster or at least react faster. Here's the difference. Now I'm going to minimize this window. You will see an animation for it closing to the taskbar. Now if I click on it, it's going to open again with an animation, which takes about one second or maybe less, but still this is no seconds. This is milliseconds and very fast. So if you turn off your animations, you're going to see a lot of speed back. The second thing you can do, and you can't do this, or at least you can, but you can't do this for laptops because it is power managing mode. If we search for power plan here in the start menu, you can actually see edit power plan. If you click on this, we will go to the control panel, which has the settings. So now I'm going to click on power options, and now you will see which power option is selected. You would normally only see balanced, but this is because your computer is balanced, won't overheat and won't use too much power of your own house. So I have the Revy Revision Ultra Performance Mode. This is a ultra performance mode I got from installing RevOS, which you can actually do if you check out the video how to optimize your Windows 11. What you could also do is only possible with computers by the way is to click on ultimate performance by clicking on additional plans if you do not see this there's a sneaky trick to still activate the ability to do this i've put the command down below but we have to activate something in a powershell which is no problem it's only copy paste and enter well it is this command and i'm going to list it down in the description and you can check it out there so i'm going to copy this right here start powershell by typing it and then run it as administrator which is actually needed. After doing this, I can press Ctrl V and it will paste it to the system. Now I can press enter and it will activate the ultimate performance on my system. Of course, after doing this, you will see it here in the power plan and you can activate it for yourself. It will gradually increase the performance of your computer. It will use more power, but that's why you don't want to do this on a laptop. But now we have activated this, your computer will be way faster especially with games. But I'm going to leave on Revision Ultra Performance because it is optimized for this OS. The third thing you can do also has to do with animations in Windows. If we type for performance and then options, or oh yeah, not options, you can see it right here, adjust appearance and performance of Windows. So if I click on this, you will see this performance options. But if you don't see it, you can actually type control panel, which is way more easy to access and you can go to system then to system right here um, let me have a look now it is opening the new version but you should be able to find advanced system settings which is this display and then when you click on performance you can see the performance options so I'm just going to close these things there you go make it before make it more visible for you guys and now you can see what you can change these are the basic settings what it does, for example, is animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, which is already disabled because we reduced animations in the, in the first step. We also have show window contents while dragging. So if you drag your window, you will see the contents. And if you disable this and then apply, you will see that it doesn't do that anymore, which will increase your performance. But I recommend you just leave it on because it's fine. What I like to do here is actually click on best performance. It will turn off everything. If you click on apply, you can test yourself out how ugly Windows has become. There you go, when you drag the window, it's very ugly and you do not want this. So what I recommend to do 
is go here to show window contents for dragging. If by the way, if you paid attention, you can see that the text has changed on windows. It's a lot less sharp. So we can actually also change that. We want to turn on smooth scroll list boxes and smooth edges of screen fonts. If we turn this on, it will allow already look a lot better. You can turn on a lot of other things, for example, icon labels, everything like that. You can personalize this how you want this. I of course don't use peak, peak is actually uh, some key binds you use in Windows where you can see the uh, file properties very fast. But yeah, if we have disabled everything here, just like this, we can also turn on thumbnails, which is already better. If you see a photo, you will actually see the image itself and not just, for example, PSD or Photoshop file. So if I apply this right here, your computer will already feel a lot faster. It doesn't speed up your computer, it makes it look like it's faster because there are no animations, by the way. Another one is actually, especially for the gamers, if you search for go game optimization or something like that, uh, game mode right here, uh, you can actually turn this on to get a lot more performance while gaming. So that's a lot better. You can actually also go here to graphics, if I'm right, and you can select what to do with everything application. For example, we have Visual Studio Code. It could use a lot more power and it is on power saving right now, which we don't want. So I'm just going to click on here, click on options and make sure it's high performance instead of power saving. Because I like to use this program and it has to be fast. It's very important. I guess with photos you can also do this if you preview a high um, quality video. It's very important. So I'm going to turn it on. Why not? Cause underside behaviors. It depends. It's not really going to change anything here. Look, if I open it, it's going to be fine. But it's going to be a little bit yeah, faster. Another one that's very important and has to do with memory is that we go to startup apps right here. Uh, you can actually do this by pressing Ctrl Shift Escape. Then it will open the task manager or you can right click here on the Windows icon. Then you will find here task manager. If we click here on startup apps, you will see these apps. Oprah is always going to open when I start a computer. Let's disable this because the more RAM you have, so the more memory you have, the more things you can do at once, which is very important to multitask on the computer. You can actually see this in performance, by the way. Here after performance, it is actually a virtual machine, which means a computer in my computer, and therefore it's only four gigabytes. But of course, it's all for the tutorials. But here you go, 1.7 is being used. It's actually a very useful program I want to show you before I go to top five, which is actually my favorite. And it has to do with the video I've made about how to optimize your own Windows 11 computer. So let's go to Brave. The browser that I recommend it is the best in of course the video where I tested all the browsers. It is the second best by the way. I tested it for you. And that is Mem Reduct. You can actually search this on Google and download it here. Or if I'm right, we can go to the Microsoft Store and you should be able to download it here also. So let's search if it is possible on the Microsoft Store. It doesn't exist here. I guess that it's maybe bugged or something. No, it is probably not there, but it doesn't matter. Let's just go to the website right here and click on download here somewhere. Uh, if you scroll down, I'm just going to list this link down below to make it way quicker. Here you go, uh, visit memory the download page. Ah, which, is this the GitHub? Let me have a look. Download for Windows right here. We want to click here and then it's going to go to the downloads folder. Let's click on save and then let's start the setup here. Let's click on next. Then of course agree to the license agreement. You should be reading this, but of course I'm not going to do it. Everybody skips them. Let's go to next, next. And then if you want the desktop shortcut or not, I'm just going to disable that. Uh, uh, store settings and application is if you want to move the application to a random folder instead of it being installed right there on the computer. I don't recommend this. Just click on next. Let's click on yes and automatically install non-executable updates, which means that it's going to install updates without giving you an annoying prompt like you have to update this now. No, it's not going to happen. And you just have to click on yes after selecting that and let's click on close. Now you will actually see a big difference. Let's click on next here, close it. It has already run. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to open task manager right now. Just like I showed you in performance, I can show you the big 
difference what's going to happen if you click on clean memory. I'm just going to click on here and then click on do not ask again because we don't want to prompt every single time. If I click on here, you will easily see that it makes a sound that's at first and that we don't use any memory anymore. It has cleaned our memory, which means I can start up at least a lot more applications. I had 1.7 gigabytes used when I didn't run this program and now I did. It has removed 700 MB of my system, which means I can start up at least four or five more Chrome tabs or Brave tabs. So that's very useful. If you want to continue to use this program, I recommend that you click here and then click on load on system startup. We can actually click on start minimized, which means that you're not going to see it popping up on your windows every single time. After doing this, we can also click on skip user account control prompt warning, which is actually the account control, the administrator, you have to click on yes every single time. It's very annoying. Let's turn it off. And now you can click on clean memory. It will clean your memory. What's very useful, by the way, if it is in the background, you can click here down below in show hidden icons. If I'm here, I can left click on it and drag it down below. After doing this, it will always be here. What I always do on my own system is right click here and clean memory. It's that easy. It will clean your memory. You can click on settings right here and then turn off the annoying sound. After doing this, you can just clean your memory. You can see it going down in real time and you've saved a lot more for your computer. The best tool I'm going to show you is actually been done in my Windows 11 optimized video, but it is the best tool. So if I search here for Chris Titus tool, the best, I guess, for everyone, you can click here on the ultimate Windows utility. And after going down here, you can find this prompt right here. We have already opened PowerShell in the ultimate performance power mode and after opening it again so here run as administrator i can control v and enter you can open this pop-up with all the useful tools many of the things i have recalled in this video except memory duck is actually displayed here and you can easily tweak this within seconds well here you go it has opened and now i can click here on tweaks Keep it very simple, click on minimal, and now you can see it disables a lot of things. Uh, by the way, telemetry is if they can track you or not, consumer features, it will be displayed here, not automatically install any games, third party apps, everything like that, it is whole trash. For example, phone link, so you probably do want to keep this enabled unless you don't use phone link. Phone link is to link your computer and your phone together so you can transfer files, see messages, call on your computer, everything like that. It's a very useful program, by the way. So I'm just going to disable that, but I have already made a video about that. I'm just going to click here on run tweaks and it will increase the performance of my computer already a lot. So after doing this, it will run in the background right above. You will see what it is applying. And if you open the prompt again, um, oh yeah. Well, the tweaks are finished, but you should be able to see what is running in the background after you click on the X here. Yeah, here you go. This is what I meant. The command prompt. But it doesn't really matter. A lot of things here. Just disabling everything. So everything is not starting up while the computer is starting up. And this is way better for your system. And of course, memory duct I've shown in the fourth step in this video is actually also one of the best. You do want to click here on settings, by the way, and then go to memory cleaning. After going here, you definitely want to enable it for everything of 30 minutes and not with a percentage above. I recommend this because let's say you're gaming and your system is using at least 75% of your system. Every time you're at the 75% or you're still on it, it's going to keep cleaning your computer and that's going to make it slower. We don't want this, so let's keep it on 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes is going to clean your system and you have free memory to use to do many other things. I tried talking a little bit faster in this video, but of course these videos are going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. I am making shorts about these, but the problem is, is that I can't show you all the details, which are very important. I want to show you how to improve your own tech products and everything like that as best as you could. I have a lot of experience in the IT support and I know a lot about macOS, Linux and Windows. The only problem is 
I don't own any Apple devices. I'm sorry. So if you're watching this and you do own any Apple devices, I do have some recommendations, but I can't really show them visually, which isn't great if you create videos. But for the rest, Windows 11 and 10 are going to be on this channel the most. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to show you how to optimize your Windows even more. I guess there are a lot more programs, for example, cleaning your system, knowing about what a hard drive is an SSD. It's very important, by the way, big difference. And if you like on this video, you will probably optimize your computer a lot more. So stay tuned for the coming videos. I will be making videos about what the best applications are for pretty much everything. I'm talking about your mail, for example, Outlook. I hate it. I disgust it. Or Gmail. Huh. I mean, it's good for Gmail and Google apps, but I don't really use it myself. There you go. My Google on my phone activates. Don't do that, please. I hope you enjoyed this. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay tuned and turn on the bell so I can promise you a lot more of these types of videos. I have made a video how to optimize you on Windows. Check that out, please. But for the rest, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong. I doubt it.